Southern California bosses have added 400, 000 jobs in the past year. Local wages, by one measure, are growing at a 5.6% annual pace. The region's homes are selling at prices 10% higher than a year ago. So, why is the Federal Reserve hellbent on quashing the good times and pushing the nation toward a recession? You see, the Fed's job is to keep the economy humming while maintaining a relatively stable cost of living. The central bank sharply raised a key interest rate twice within six weeks because it failed badly at managing inflation. The local consumer price index shows inflation running at a budget-busting pace, 9.4% in the Inland Empire and 8.6% in Los Angeles and Orange Counties. Nationally, the CPI was rising at a 9.1% annual rate in June, a 40-year high. Two years ago, the pandemic's economic wall prompted various parties, including the Fed, to rescue the briefly shattered economy. Yet too much good stuff in these various aid packages means it's now payback time. Inflation is an economic evil with wealth-cutting effects that must be tamed. Now restoring economic sanity shouldn't just be the Fed's chore, but the nation's central bank is being forced to be the adult in the room. Throughout 2022, it cautioned anybody who would listen that its gift-giving phase was ending. Some government entities, not all, are still in handout mode. To cool the economy, the Fed's deploying its most powerful tool, shutting off the cheap money it previously promoted. And the economy is starting to stall. Too much demand because people went nuts coming out of the pandemic restrictions. Too little supply because of just-in-time inventory schedules trashed by the intermittent and unpredictable pandemic lockdowns around the world, says the economist Mark Schnepp of the California Economic Forecast. This has created higher prices which ration goods to the highest bidders. So the Fed's job is simple, get demand for goods to decline. One key measure of business strength, the nation's gross domestic product, adjusted for inflation, has declined in two straight quarters. Let's politely say that's a signal of economic distress.